Hey everybody, uh, this is something that I'm going to start doing more frequently, not all the time. Like I said, it's not going to replace what I do on the other side with the more scripted things in front of the green screen. But when something comes up and I just want to talk about it, this is where I'm going to go. I haven't named it yet. I'm thinking about calling it uh, One More Thing with Jesse Dollimore or something anyway. I don't know, but I would uh, be happy to take your suggestions if you want to leave them down in the comments. Uh, what I want to talk about right now is yesterday evening when Hannity, when his show ended and Laura Ingram's show began, there's that weird, awkward moment that the news networks do where one program tosses to the other. And in this last night, Hannity picked a bone with Laura Ingram for not carrying the last few moments <laughs> of Donald Trump's campaign rally speech, and I want to talk about it. Here it is. A fantastic show, and Thank we you. are right, can ready I to go. Can I lodge a complaint? Yeah. Am I allowed? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm watching the rest of the president's speech in New Mexico last night. I wanted to see the ending. Huh. You cut to your debate early, and I want, it was just at the end. Sorry. I love watching your show too. Is but that I the White to see House speaking, or is that you? No, that's Sean Hannity speaking. I went down to watch the rest of it. I couldn't tell. I'm just teasing you. Really? I'm just teasing. Well, the point is, we were right at the crescendo. Well, Imagine a great work of Bach or Mozart, and then got it. You know, you're, got it. you're about to crescendo. You know what we used to say in, in, in the courtroom? I'll take that under advisement. Good. But I got a, I got an idea. <laughs> great show. You handle your hour. I'll handle my oh, hour. Now Laura's going to take it don't personally. Try to, don't, don't take try it to personally. Don't try to boss me around in my hour, Hannity. I don't boss you oh, around in yours. I was, right? oh. Yeah. I, I, I was watching it. It was three you minutes have less in the speech. I had Why to did find you have it that online. Guest? Mm. Why did, I'm, we love the president's speeches, but he had, hit, he had hit all the points, the new points that we wanted to get across, and we had a fantastic panel to dissect what we're going to talk about Laura, now. you always have a great show. Well, first of all, first of all, this is an admission. This is, there's a thing out there that, that, that liberals and Democrats and clear thinking Americans all over the country have been talking about for uh, the last couple of years. And that is Fox is state news. Fox is just an extension of the propaganda arm of the White House, the communications department of the White House. That's why there's a revolving door between the White House and Fox News corporate. Hope Hicks, after she left the White House, went and now she's an executive vice president in her mid-twenties working for the Fox News organization. This moment here is very telling that Laura Ingram is admitting this very thing. She's asking Hannity, is that the White House speaking or is that you? Admitting that oftentimes the thing Sean Hannity says he is just a mouthpiece for the White House. He, he can talk about how he's an opinion guy all he wants, but he is a mouthpiece for the president. The other thing, and this is more funny <laughs> or tragic, is that we were right at the crescendo, right at the crescendo. And then he compares this speech, this dopey campaign rally speech, to Bach or Mozart. Bach or Mozart, <laughs> Donald Trump. And then, you know, listen, I'm not one to, to throw compliments around or praise Laura Ingram, but she definitely had what it took to stand up to, to Hannity and put him in his place and say, you handle your hour of your program, I'll handle mine. I don't need to take marching orders from you, you pumpkin-headed goon. That's coming from a pumpkin-headed goon, so... Uh, anyway, I'd love to know what you think. Go ahead and put your comments down in the in the comment section, you know, where comments go. And uh, I would love to know what you think about this type of a segment. Kind of run and gun when something happens uh, throughout the day. I don't have to really go into some research mode and write a bunch of stuff. I can just hit the camera, upload it, and uh, have more of an instant dialogue with you guys. Uh, anyway, um, I love and appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. And again, I'd love your suggestions.